Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be trying out something new. I don't know if this is gonna work the way I envisioned it in my head, but uh, we're gonna to work together and see if it if it's a success. <laughs> so anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get from you guys. Um, let me just clean this up. So this little guy right here, just like, Okay, sorry, because <laughs> we're dealing with HTV and that carrier sheet is so sticky. I love this little guy. It's the We Are Memory Keepers, like little vacuum cleaner. Um, okay, so I want to talk about something. Because I had this idea, I'm going to be at the Impress Impressions Expo in Long Beach, California uh, this month. So January 2022. I will be in the polytape booth. So I wanted to show, you know, I don't use HTV a lot, like, um, you know, like for sweatshirts and stuff like that. Um, I do personalize all of my daughter's stuff. <laughs> so that's kind of like the extent of my HTV. Um, but I love using HTV on cardstock because it gives me, um, just more options, right? Like when something's super detailed, I feel like my cardstock doesn't always cut as well, but you can cut finer details with HTV. So, you know, I like having that option. I also like having the different colors and textures that you, you know, you just have more available if you incorporate HTV. So what I'm doing for the booth is I'm doing Bell. I'm doing Bell three different times, three different images, um, and all kind of like testing out different things. So on this bell, everything except for the black background, so like her face, her hair, her eyes, all that stuff is gonna be HTV. I wanna showcase, you know, the difference in using HTV and what you can um, achieve with the different colors and textures. I don't know if it's gonna work as well as I think, but um, so we're kinda gonna go through it. It's a little bit different than my typical off the map because it is for a show and I'm trying to showcase different things. I used everything at my disposal, right? So instead of for the black background, I typically use 12 by 12 black cardstock, right? I use 12 by 24, so I'm kind of cheating, but I wanted less seams, and it really wasn't about getting you guys to do it this way, um, you know, for parties, but not at least not for the seams with the black background. Anyway, I'm gonna get started. <laughs> so first thing is, um, and I actually, the beginning of this project, this was going to be actually an acrylic sign. So I, you know, let me see how big this is. This is about, let's see, I've got the 12. Uh, this is about 19 inches. So it's not as big as I normally do it, but it's really, you know, it's different. Anyway. With Belle, she's only in two pieces. The black the black is in two pieces. So I'm gonna flip this over, right? And we're gonna tape it up like we usually do. So same principle, best practice, is when you're taping this together, what you wanna do is you wanna lift up one side and kind of just push it as much as you can against the other piece so that we have like a really nice, tight, taping right there. So I'm going to tape it all the way across. And on this one, I'm not going to do it today, but I'm going to do it on a separate video. The foam board, I'm going to make it fancy so that in the back, it's also going to look nice. It's not just going to be the foam board. I'm going to incorporate streamers and I'm going to do it that way. So stay tuned for that in a different video. Today we're just doing Belle it's herself. So um, I tape this up really well. Okay, then we're gonna flip it over. Now, as you know, because I'm doing such a big piece and with so many pieces, I did not want to do the HTV directly onto the black cardstock because I felt like with the number of pressings that, you know, like the face, right? It would have her, um, her skin color, her eyes, the white of the eyes, the brown of the eyes. Um, what else does she have in her face? The hair. Uh, the lips, the teeth, right? It would get pressed so many times right here that I feel like it would damage my cardstock. So this is the first time that I'm doing it this way. I cut out each individual piece 
and I'm gonna layer the HTV just on top of this so that when I go to put this on, the top layer is gonna have HTV and then I'm gonna put it down. So that way my black piece is not getting a lot of heat and my each individual piece is only getting the heat for that for that piece. So I feel like um, I'm not gonna be compromising the cardstock at all. So this is all an experiment. Um, and so, you know, I really, I hope that you guys stick around for that kind of stuff because, um, because I was doing this, that's how I came up with the hack that I just posted today. So I hope you enjoy that. I mean, I feel like, you know, when you kind of step out of your comfort zone, then you can discover other things. Um, that hack, I'm gonna talk about it because it's so cool, it's the mandala. So if you have something that is all connected, right? Like this gorgeous, gorgeous owl, right? I cut through that HTV, through the carrier sheet so that there was no weeding. When I pulled it off, it was like cardstock. I was able to apply the whole thing down and press it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch that video. <laughs> it just posted today and you can check out on Instagram all the reels and all the fun stuff. All right, so this is taped down. Let's do some of these individual pieces. So I'm gonna move this aside. And you know, I just wanted to showcase, I'm doing bell a couple different ways, like I said. Some, this bell is gonna be all cardstock. So the reason why that hack even came up is because, you know, sometimes with the, with HTV, you have the sticky sheet, right? And I just felt like this was so much sticky carrier sheet that it would be really hard for me to get all these pieces down perfectly. So I decided to, you know, like overcut through that carrier sheet. So instead of having the sticky carrier sheet, this is, this is HTV. The carrier sheet is on top, but the carrier sheet that's left is only enough for this piece because I thought it would be easier for me to do this. To line it up like this, like I would with cardstock, put it down and then put my, oops, hold on, let me line it up. Hold on, I thought it was gonna be easy. <laughs> but I thought this would be easier than if I had to deal with the sticky sheet, try to get my hand out from underneath, and then I thought this would move. So. This is down, I'm gonna press here. And because this is cardstock, the nice thing is it doesn't need to have like the super press, right? It's not gonna go through a wash. Oh, it's lifting, okay. So I gotta apply, maybe I'll do that. Let that sit for a few seconds and then we'll do this side. And then the carrier sheet will lift off and then it'll be just a, you know, like a beautiful golden piece for her dress. So this is my point is that, I mean, I think there's a lot of beautiful glitter cardstock available, so that's not the case, but I'll show you the brown that I'm gonna be using for her hair, which is just gorgeous. So now we're gonna peel off the carrier sheet. And then I'm gonna press one more time with just, oh, whoa. I mean, do you see how it glitters? It's just so pretty. All right, but I don't wanna ruin the, the, the glitter HTV, so I'm gonna add this. And then I'm gonna glue that piece to my off the mat piece like I normally would as because the backing is cardstock, right? Okay, so we have a part of her dress. Beautiful, right? Let me show you compared to glitter cardstock so that you can see the difference. Um, okay, I don't know why I didn't do this. Here is my glitter cardstock. So this is the yellow that I could have used. So if you know, it just, in this case, I mean, both are beautiful. It's just a different shade. So I might not have this particular color. And so having HTV at your disposal is just giving you more options. That's all. But check out the hair color. So this is one piece um, I'm gonna use for her eyes. I'm gonna use this beautiful brown. Um, hold on, let me get all my pieces. All right, here we go. So 
this is one piece. And this is the other piece. So you can see, I mean, this brown is just gorgeous. So let's press that. And I'm gonna show you the gold that I'm gonna use for like the little beading on her dress. Look at this gold. It's like the HTV is gorgeous. It's Right, it looks more like a jewel, so that's kind of you know where I was going with all this. So let's do this. Oops, it didn't come out yet. I think I might have to turn this up a little bit. So normally we would have that big carrier sheet. Now the carrier sheet is just exactly here. So you just gotta lift carefully. See, so it comes off. I mean, look at that brown. That brown is gorgeous. So on this one, I'm going to press like this. And you see it just comes off. I don't know if that's easier to see. Maybe on here. There. <laughs> okay. So this takes a little bit longer because each piece, instead of just cutting, I cut and then I also got the HTV equivalent. So it is, it's another step. But it's um, kind of what I get you know, get paid to do, right? So it's a lot of fun to experiment and try this out. So, okay. But this one I'm super excited for. I'm gonna press this one next, because I think, oh, I think this is her earring. It's just so pretty. Oh no, that one moved. Okay, so that's not good. I'm gonna lift it up so. The nice thing is it's still tacky enough that I can lift up. Okay, so that's not a problem. All right, so I'm gonna move and take the carrier sheet off this one. I'm gonna see if I can take the carrier sheet off this one. It's not coming off. I can hear it. This is when you need nails. Uh, it's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, give me a sec. I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay, I'm gonna press it a little bit more. Maybe it just needs to press it. Ah, that's not good. Maybe it's the cardstock. It doesn't want to stay on this piece. It's so pretty though. I don't want to give up on it. Okay, so I know this is a cold peel, but it's not even hot anymore. <laughs> Oh, I got it, Fido. Oh, no, wait, hold on, there. Peeling off the carrier sheet, and it's, I mean, it's just, look at that. It's beautiful, it's so perfect for gold, like a jewelry. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down, I'm gonna press it just a little bit more to make sure that it's down and good on these two pieces. And then we're gonna move on. And you can see they lay flat, so it didn't warp the paper at all. I think it's, it doesn't feel that hot actually. <laughs> okay, um, all right. So for the mouth, technically it's going in the black of the background. So instead what I did was I cut out a piece for the mouth and I did that for the eyes as well so that again we're not overheating the cardstock so here's the lips I put this down and because it's cut perfectly like this I can actually put the, the teeth on the inside and press both at the same time 
Oops, hold on. Where is my teeth? My teeth. My teeth is part of the eyes, so hold on. What is going on here? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's on the back side. Jesus. So I'm going to cut out this piece on the inside. And I can do this, right, because the pink is totally um, touching, all the pink is touching the black cardstock, which is what I want. I'm going to put this white in the inside. Oh, that's not good. Okay, the white of her teeth has the excess carrier sheet and it's totally okay to be over because it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't impact anything. Um, it will just come off. This is more like what we're used to seeing, right? With the excess. So I'm gonna put this down and we're pressing both. We're able to do that because the pink, the middle of the pink is open. So my white is touching everything that the, both the pink and the white are touching the black cardstock. That's the important thing that we need. To, oh my gosh, what happened here? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it like melted. It was too hot. Okay, good to know. I'll just recut it. But also good to know <laughs> to not do it directly on your black, right? Okay, so that was too much heat. I got to be careful. I'm going to turn down the heat. I had it on three bars because it felt like it wasn't that hot, but apparently it was. All right, so here are the eyes. Let's do the eyes. So what's in the eyes? It's just this and then the that goes in. So I think we're good there. So let's do this side. I didn't even realize I had it on for that long. Yep, apparently it was on too long because that didn't take very long, right? <laughs> so this piece is down. I'm going to show you what we're putting in there. That's going to be the eye. Really, really pretty, right? Okay, so that's that side. Let's do this eye over here. Let's line this up. Let's do it for a few seconds. Yep, a few seconds is all we needed. So there's that one. And then here's this one. And let's put this in so you can kind of get a feel for what this looks like. And if her mouth wasn't messed up, this is what it would go in there. So you can see, oh my gosh, so pretty, right? Um, oh, okay, that one's like a little bit off right there. Much better. Right? Okay. So you can kind of get the idea. Um, we're going to be doing all of this. And then, like I was saying, all these pieces are cardstock, right? So we would just glue it down like we normally would. I would use Barely Art glue and go through that process. So I'm gonna continue doing this and let's look at the hair. The hair is gonna be a little bit complicated because it's like this. Let's get back to the hair. I don't think I'm ready for the hair yet. <laughs> Let's do more of these pieces. Um, okay. So I'll bring this back. to line this up. And I think I'm going to hold it. 
on this side and do this. Oops, not down yet. Okay. Oh, let's talk about the Impressions Expo really quickly though. I'm gonna be going live there. And so that's gonna be Saturday, January 22nd. And we're giving away a lot of cool prizes. So make sure if you are on Instagram, because you have to be on the live in order to um, be eligible for the prize. So it should be, you know, a, a, a good chance. The odds are with you. This is like a really, really good chance to win something. We are giving away a mini heat press. Um, and lots of HTV, so it should be a lot of fun. And we're gonna be doing a demo. And I should have David from DJ May 1976. He does the custom sneakers. So he's gonna be on there as well. Um, hopefully we'll be customizing a pair of shoes. So we'll show you how that works. All right, this is, you know, I'm thinking that for this one, this cardstock is, um, it's got like a film on it, so I'm gonna take this off like this and let it settle down, line it up, and then I'm gonna put this on top and then Still not on. And now I'm looking forward to her hair because I'll show you that piece again. Her hair is this beautiful brown, but all right, so that's totally on. That's beautiful. Okay, let's move this aside. Um we have a few more of the earring pieces. So this is a I don't think that's the earring. That's part of her dress. So. I'm gonna press a few more items and then I'm just gonna finish up. Well, actually, you know, I should do one hair piece so that you could see it. Oh no. Oh. All right. I'm stuck to that. Okay. I did not wanna get burned by that. <laughs> oh, this one came off more easily. Like it. It's just. So pretty how much that glitters. And I don't think that I would have an equivalent in cardstock that would give me that kind of shine. Okay. Holy, why did this do? Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna move these aside for now. I'm gonna try one hair piece. Let's see if it would be easier to do. I feel like it would be easier to, oh no, because then, okay, I think I have an idea. All right, let's put these pieces down. And you know what I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use heat resistant tape. So we're gonna try this out. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna try. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up as perfectly as I can, then I'm gonna tape it down. And then hopefully I have all the pieces.
and I need to tape it down because these pieces are cut exactly to fit the HTV, so none of it is extending past onto the sticky part. So that's kind of like why I'm doing that. Um, okay, I don't know where that piece is. I see this piece. So this should be really exciting. <laughs> I don't know if I'll call it exciting, terrifying maybe. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put down all these pieces. I'm missing a piece up here though. I wonder if it's gonna turn up somewhere. Now I'm trying to think of when you guys would use this. I mean, I guess, you know, like if you wanted to try out something new or if you, you know, ran out of cardstock and you needed to finish something and all you had was HTV, this just give, you know, it just gives you more options. That's all. Okay. And on this piece, I'm almost, I think I might pull out my bigger heat press so that I don't have to deal with my mini. So give me a second, I'll pull that out. I'm still not using my gigantic 12 by 10, but I'm gonna put this over here and I'm gonna use the six by seven, just so that I have a little bit more control over what is um, being heated. Okay, I'm gonna move this really quickly so you can see it. I'm gonna go, so I turned it on, you hit the temperature button and then you hit the plus or you know, minus sign to get to the right temperature. I'm gonna go down to like 290. And then time-wise, I hit the time, oops. You gotta hold it until it blinks. There, ah! Come on, blink. Oh my gosh, every time I do that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna move it down to maybe just 10 seconds, oops. Okay, so now it's setting. Put that aside, we'll finish this. Um, shoot, where are all these pieces? Maybe I'll just do this if I can find those pieces. Um, all right, so I'm looking for a little side piece. Shoot. It might have fallen. I mean, gosh, this is so crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna cut this off, and we're gonna we're gonna do just this piece right here. We're gonna improvise. All right, so let me cut this where, here we go. Okay, so that part of the hair, I'm gonna do just this side right here for now. Because I don't have the other pieces, but I wanted to show you <laughs> how I problem solve this. Although I'm not sure if I solve the problem, we'll see in a second. Oops. Okay, here we go. We'll see if this works. So I tape that down, right? I'm gonna flip it over. Let's see if this works. Holy, okay. <laughs> it's fun experimenting, right? Okay, so that's down. Okay. Let's see if we need more heat. Oh, we don't. <gasps> Okay. 
it's a beautiful color. I don't know if you can really like see it's this bronze. So let me show you what the brown hair could look like in comparison, right? So you just get a different tone and a different, a different shade that I think uh, is really nice to be able to have. So I'm gonna actually leave this together right now for now, uh, just for now, and I'm not even sure where this piece goes. But that's her hair. <laughs> oh no, wait. Yes. I know, kind of like struggling. I should have put this down. Something like that. <laughs> Now she looks so horrible. So I'm gonna continue doing the rest of this. We're gonna um, meet you back once um, once we cut the foam board. So I'm gonna cut the foam board with you, and then I'll show you how I'll wrap the foam board. So um, if you're doing this project with me, we're gonna do HTV on all the pieces, and then meet back when it's all taped down. Or I'll, I'll probably leave like a few pieces to show you how I would. Uh, glue it together like I normally would. All right, see you guys. Let me know if you have comments, questions, or if you want to see something cool. I'm all about trying uh, new things like this. I have the materials and um, yeah, they're here to waste. So let me experiment for you. <laughs> all right, talk to you guys later.